Hey everyone, it's Asia Marke here, Alemon Creation. I thought today I'm gonna share with you a little bit of my everyday life, of how I make the products, how my uh, shop looks like uh, until it's still here, and uh, how I prepare the orders. So I was showing you on my designs. I do my designs uh, when I have a little bit of free time, usually when I'm watching something, then I uh, fix them or make them proper in the Photoshop, I made, I print out the copy and if I am fine with it, I'll ask uh, for them to be printed in my local printer shop. And this is the end product of this particular designs I was showing you. It's a Whimsy Garden, Serendipitous Stems and Black and White uh, Garden. And uh, those are the pages which are in my book. They are all for fuzzy cutting. And that's one of the examples. I do similar things with stamps and stencils and uh, I do the uh, design and then I um, put it into production. Here though is my shop because I got some uh, questions of you weren't able at some point to find some things in it. So this is the interface of my shop. There is a slideshow which I uh, try to change from time to time. On the top you can see orange part um, I usually put important uh, informations over there and basically you can do two things. You can either go to the drop down list on the shop uh, as you can see right here and choose whichever you want to see. Although you can also go to the collections and you're gonna see the collections I have. So you have stamps, you have stencils, digital downloads, art journals, handmade bookmarks and cards and so on. And uh, you click on it and then it will bring you to the page where you have all these products and you can have a look at them. So basically you go inside a chosen product, for example this one, and then you can uh, have all the informations here about the product. Um, you get um, all the description I wrote, you can see customers reviews, by the way. Thank you so much for all of you who left the reviews and if you can do it for all of you who didn't and who would like to support me a little bit, I would appreciate so much because I got such a beautiful reviews, uh, but some products they don't have it and I would like uh, that they do have because I know it works much better if the products have a good reviews. So basically you click here, write a review and uh, you can write whichever you think about my products. Um, I'm sorry for a, a little bit lopsided uh, screen. Uh, you, as you can see, uh, I'm showing you different ways of um, going through uh, my shop. Here we go, uh, here we are in the stamp uh, section. So you have a first page of stamp. You have also, you can go to the second page. I think I have two uh, pages of stamps. Uh, they are all my designs. Uh, sometimes I take, of course, uh, inspiration from um, um, internet, but uh, I try to really do it my way. So you won't find exactly the same designs on the uh, internet, that's sure. And uh, at the end, I am putting as much as I can um, my own uh, creations, my own projects I made with these designs. So like that you can get a little bit inspired. And of course you can click on the um, like shopping cart or whatever that is, which brings you to the to the cart. And then you can go to the checkout. You have two options of payment. You have either PayPal or, or ShopPay. ShopPay is the credit card, so you can uh, use it. I would kindly ask you it's not really an obligation or anything, but oh, finally, I, <laughs> I fixed the screen. If you have a choice and you can pay with a credit card, I'd rather, because I have to tell you, uh, PayPal is taking such a big commission on every uh, purchase uh, you do. So it's uh, actually hurting me a little bit. But as I said, I'd rather if you buy with uh, PayPal, then <laughs> don't buy at all. But basically, mm, uh, that's the steps you have to do. Uh, some of you are asking, oh, how much will I have for the sh uh, will I pay for the shipping? The shipping is based on the uh, weight of the uh, of the products because I don't have any other options. I'm using post or for the uh, some European countries, Mondial Relais. 
And so I do have to um, use mostly post for uh, especially international uh, or overseas um, expeditions. And the thing is that it's based on the weight. I do not add any extra charges to the stamps. So the price of the stamp is actually what you are, well, what I am actually paying. On top of that, I am taxed on the stamps, which is really ridiculous, but uh, just um, letting it be. So uh, basically, you go to the checkout. At the end of the checkout, uh, you're gonna put your personal information. Unfortunately, this is the step you have to do uh, before you get the shipping info. And then it's obvious also because you need to put the address to be sure um, how much you're gonna pay. And then you're gonna, before payment, you're going actually to get the shipping uh, cost. And there is also um, a small box. Uh, I quite often have a different type of discounts. And so you can um, go uh, to this box and enter your discount. Uh, there is also an option of the tip if you want to tip me. Uh, this option is not taxed, <laughs> so I also would appreciate a lot. Um, and basically that's it. The shipping cost is going to be calculated and then at the end you have a choice to choose your, um, your payment method. And that's how it goes. So once again, uh, I'm a little, uh, as you can see, I'm talking to you about the uh, uh, checkout, but I am showing you the products at the same time. It's very hard to do uh, the video when I have to talk later. So I'm not sure at which point I have to actually stop the camera. So, you know, uh, everything is coherent. But basically I wanted to show you how uh, the layout of the shop looks like. Even yesterday I had a question that uh, somebody couldn't find one of my stamps, um, which happened at this time, a stamp was there actually. Here you have at the bottom all the necessary info, the links to my channels, all the policies which are required by law. And um, that's basically all. <clears throat> I have to tell you sometimes it happens that um, the product is gone, is out of stock. You can always send me email. I appreciate it so much. And in general, I answer in the e e emails in a few hours time uh, the most because I'm checking them always. Ah, also, you can change your currency here. So this is also a thing um, to remember if you prefer to uh, shop in your own currency. Uh, so as I was saying, sometimes the products are out of stock. Please send me an email. Uh, saying that they are out of stock sometimes I do actually I don't notice it's true I have so much on my hands that uh, I haven't seen that the product is out of stock and is not updated automatically uh, also at the each step of the shopping experience <laughs> let's call it like that you will be notified how far you are from the free shipping uh, free shipping is very um, cool for uh, especially overseas uh, orders. Uh, you won't pay for shipping. It's gonna be covered by me and uh, it will cost around 20 euro. So it's quite a lot. So if you uh, fancy uh, saving a little bit of money, this is the way to go. And as always, please send me an email if you have any issues. I really do uh, appreciate that and I'm trying to answer as quickly as possible. So here we go. As you can see, I have four orders today. Well, it's not really today, but you know, the day when I was making this video. And so I'm work working in Shopify. I do not have Etsy shop. I'm working in Shopify. Uh, this is the list of my products. I don't want to show you too much because I don't want to show any personal information of my, uh, my customers. But that's basically how it looks like. The orders are unfulfilled and I have to click on each and every one of the orders. Um, and uh, by uh, copying and pasting and doing things like that, I am uh, putting them, um, I am making the uh, invoices and then printing them out. Here we go. I have invoice for every order. I have to print out three to four pieces of paper. <laughs> so it's a lot of uh, paper. I'm trying to save as much as I can. I am doing collated printing and things like that, but uh, it's not always easy. 
and um, now I'm preparing the actual orders. Uh, the, you cannot see everything because I didn't want, uh, once again, the personal info uh, of my clients to be visible. But basically, I have my magic drawers, actually three of them, <laughs> where I have all my products. That's true, I don't have too much stock because uh, I simply cannot afford to buy uh, big quantities. So I need to do um, smaller quantities and more often, which is not really very rentable, but uh, I work like that for now. Let's hope it's gonna change one day. Yeah, of course, if I don't close my shop <laughs> in the next month. But that's basically what I'm doing. I have to sign, of course, the invoices and I have to double check if the quantity and the uh, products are uh, the ones I actually, uh, the customer actually bought. It happened to me once that uh, I put um, bad product in the envelope, it happened, but only once, so I'm very happy. Uh, since I'm doing everything by myself, I think it's a quite a big achievement to, uh, <laughs> to make a mistake only once. I hope I'm not gonna jinx it. So here are, you can see, uh, here are my stencils and my stamps. So I'm going through them and double checking with uh, the order. So here is the part which could be a little bit messier because I've been preparing um, two set of orders and I've been recording the, those two preparations on the separate days and I mix them up a little. So <laughs> do not think that I am following one particular order. Uh, there is gonna be few. So uh, I usually for the last step of preparation putting everything together and putting into envelopes I work on my desk and uh, I take one particular order and I go uh, one by one uh, with every product uh, I already prepared before and I'm double checking if they are the good ones, if I am not making a mistake. Sometimes also happens that uh, my customers are uh, putting by accident two, um, two items, to the same items, for example, the same stencil um, I can see is uh, bought twice. I usually send email to uh, this customer asking if it was on purpose because I know that uh, it's not wholesale, so usually, usually those are mistakes, so I'm double checking that also. And uh, back to my... Uh, <laughs> to my smaller uh, desk uh, and I'm doing the same thing here but with a completely different order. Uh, once again trying to make sure that everything is done correctly. I would like so much uh, for you to tell me if this uh, movie was uh, at all needed, or it were, if it was informative, if you wanted to see how uh, everything works in a very 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 tiny uh, company like mine because the company, uh, very tiny shop. Uh, because I'm sure some of you also uh, are thinking about setting up their own business. So I just wanted also to share with you and also show you that it's really one person business. It's all only me behind all of it, behind the paperwork right now, behind the preparations of order, behind the designing and everything which comes in between dealing with producers uh, or uh, printers uh, or print, printing shop. I have one in particular, which is uh, like 20 kilometers from me, uh, but it's a local one. So I'm happy to also support uh, um, support the uh, man who's working there. And now uh, the preparation of the envelopes. So my personal touch, I love uh, adding a little bit of drawing. Uh, sometimes take me so so much time because I am stuck, I don't know what to draw. And I have to tell you, there are some envelopes which are living without drawing. And lately, I had two orders missing in Poland, actually, which is uh, super weird, I find. And um, I stopped for Poland. I usually don't do any more drawings because I'm thinking if it's um, if there is something drawn on the envelope, maybe it will be just... Um, you know, um, easier stolen, I don't know. So there are some countries I am uh, afraid to actually make a drawing, thinking that if I make it look very professional, like maybe there are papers just inside the envelope, and nobody's gonna steal it. But I'm not sure even <laughs> if the orders were stolen, maybe they were just, you know, mixed up or just lost. But that's what I do. 
Uh, I try as much as possible to add personal touch. I have to admit it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time from uh, my other, um, you know, duties or my other work. But I love that, uh, and I think uh, I think you appreciate that as well. I hope I'm right. <laughs> so here is my funny, funny doodling on every single level of the, in this order. I know my video doesn't look very professional. <laughs> when I see videos of preparing orders on YouTube or Instagram, I'm thinking, how do they even do it? But I simply do not have time to learn anymore, and so I'm doing it the way it's uh, the most comfortable for me, and also. Uh, enough clear for you to watch. Uh, so the envelopes are ready and the next step is to put uh, my uh, address stickers at the back and here is maybe the coolest part of making the orders, the preparation of everything, putting everything together. Uh, I'm starting with the books, the books are always wrapped. Uh, sometimes I put them in the um, plastic bags but they are usually the uh, plastic bags um, which I kept from uh, some other products and which are in perfect condition because um, I do not like uh, using plastic bags too much uh, because it's pollution already. Um, I feel guilty enough that I'm making stencils and stamps. Uh, but you know, you have to live also uh, somehow. But uh, yes, I prefer to use a tissue paper. I think that you may use it, especially if it's not very dark, the color. You can always stamp something on it and use in your uh, art journaling uh, pages. So uh, yes, once again, it takes time, but uh, I find it's a personal touch and it's important also. And it's important not to, um, not to buy uh, like kilos of plastic uh, bags, plastic uh, packaging, uh, if you can do it with paper, if I can do it with paper, I prefer the paper. And here they are, they are going into the envelope and um, now I need to include in the envelope of course uh, the invoice and um, in most of my orders, not all of them because simply I do not have time, uh, I add uh, ATC cards or at least some kind of thing I made. Because people are asking me if I am doing ATC swaps, I don't because I simply don't have time. So um, this is my way also of saying thank you. This uh, letter is obviously going to Poland, so I'm writing in Poland, in Polish, <laughs> sorry. And um, so uh, those are my new ATC cards, which I'm gonna be including in the order. I also add, uh, as always, to every order, uh, a little bit of extras. This one is a special thank you card. I um, add them uh, usually to the uh, first time customers, the ones who already made an order. I'm trying to add something else to not as not to repeat the same card all over again. And from time to time, I'm trying to also change them, change the um, design on the thank you cards because I think it's important also. Uh, I'm not a big uh, scrapbook.com or any other company, but uh, you know, this is my way of uh, saying thank you. This is my way also of making publicity because I think that a customer which is happy will come back and maybe also will uh, share the news about my shop with somebody else. So I really hope you appreciate that. And um, usually also I do ask uh, on these cards to write a review if you are happy with my products, to, have, uh, to write a shorter review in my shop because that helps me really a great deal. Uh, I always, if I do shopping online, I always look at the reviews. So I guess uh, with you is the same. Uh, so <laughs> as you can see, it's a long, long uh, <laughs> uh, writing thing here happening. Uh, but I have a little bit of problem with writing in Polish um, since in Polish we are actually uh, um, using the polite form uh, to address people we don't know but uh, in the scrapbooking mixed media community this is not so popular so I always I'm not I'm always in doubt uh, should I say uh, madame <laughs> or should I just uh, write a name and that's what happened here but uh, here we go uh, <laughs> finally it's done 
and here are the uh, extras I put. I do put extras based on the, uh, unfortunately, on the size of the order. <laughs> Because, uh, yes, if somebody orders something uh, for 20 euro, I always put extra also. But uh, I may put more for the order which, uh, which amounts to 100 euro, for example. But the most important thing in all of that, you have to know that, is the weight of the order. The price of stamp is so steep. I do agree with that. <clears throat> As I said, the price you pay is the price I'm paying. I'm not having any uh, hidden costs. Uh, but that's the thing also, uh, sometimes you place your order which weights, the weight of the order is actually in between two uh, price uh, for stamps, like two different prices. So for example, uh, the price of the stamp changes at 250 grams. So if you put order which um, weights 249 grams, uh, I can send it as it is and I will pay exactly what you paid me for the stamp, but I won't do that. I will always add an extra. So in this case, I will pay uh, the difference. So I will pay probably two, three euro more, but uh, for me, it's important that you get a little bit of personal touch. So I do that always. And uh, quite often it happens that I would like to put, for example, two or three samples of my work with the order and I can only uh, manage to squeeze one, for example, because otherwise if I put more, the price is gonna go up. And even though I'm doing, uh, I'm doing that sometimes that I do pay higher price uh, just to be able to put extra in your orders, I cannot do it uh, every time or uh, quite often because otherwise I would not manage to keep my shop afloat, which is already a little bit the case. <laughs> But I hope uh, it's hard to explain and um, I'm not trying to complain or anything. I'm just trying to tell you that uh, especially the repeated com customers, which I have a lot of repeated customers and I'm very grateful because it means that you actually like what I'm doing and you are coming back to my shop. But uh, in case of repeated customers, you may find yourself once with the order which is uh, in which I put, for example, uh, three free samples in the other. I put just one. Uh, this is usually really based on the weight, so just bear that in mind. There is nothing, you know, a hidden, no hidden message in it, but it's usually just the weight problem I have. And here I am preparing another order. I think I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for you. I'm not sure if you wanna see everything. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you can see the uh, names of the clients, but I hope they do not mind. I do everything so uh, all the other informations are not visible and as you can see at the back of the envelope I have a small pouch, uh, small bag which is glued to the envelope. Those are the um, custom informations I am obliged to provide so I need to put it in the small bag like that and um, so they are ready for the custom office to uh, double check and as you can see I'm verifying the weight of the each uh, envelope I'm sending away. Uh, so uh, I know what kind of stamp I have to buy to uh, uh, send it correctly. I just wanted to show you this uh, order uh, because I was so, so happy. Uh, I got the first order to, you're gonna just see in a second. <laughs> uh, so I hope it's gonna arrive safely. It's already in the post. But uh, as I said the first time, mm, the, my order is going to Philippines. So I'm really, really happy. I've never been to Philippines, I would like also, <laughs> but I love these, uh, you know, destinations which are like, uh, you know, uh, exotic, yes. Uh, here's just part when I am uh, showing you how to, uh, how I prepare the custom declaration. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to tell you about the tracking numbers. I get a lot of mails uh, asking, oh, how can I track my parcel? What is it? In the man month of May, I had such a big problem because the post didn't work correctly. There is so many bank holidays in the month of May, uh, so so many parcels, so many letters were delayed. Actually, uh, thankfully they arrived. At least the ones I heard about, uh, you know, they arrived to the customers. But yes, it took longer. 
So when you are asking for the tracking number, I do offer tracking numbers only for uh, big orders, simply because I don't have insurance for the post. Uh, and the reason for that is that because it's just simply too expensive. So I'm taking a risk. If the order doesn't arrive to you and I am waiting always uh, with my customers, of course, uh, for some time to be sure that the order is really missing, I will even uh, either reimburse you or uh, send the order back to you. Uh, and um, the thing is that uh, with tracking number, um, I do offer them for a bigger orders because simply uh, I am afraid to lose too much money. It's just that simple. The smaller order as well, it happens so rarely that the parcels are missing, but with the smaller orders, it's much easier for me to resend the order or reimburse you. Uh, with the bigger one, it's much more complicated as you can imagine. So that's the thing with the tracking number. If you do not have, or if you don't get the Shopify email notifying you of the tracking number, it's just notifying you that your parcel has been uh, prepared and is ready to go. Uh, that means that you do not have tracking number. Otherwise, you will have a number which is starting with LG and finishing with FR for France. And uh, based on this number, you can make a, uh, you can track uh, your parcel. I also noticed that um, quite often the uh, parcels with tracking number take more time, which is also normal because uh, they have to be tracked at every step. So uh, they arrive to the customers a little bit uh, later. But I usually get uh, my orders uh, delivered to the customers overseas, usually United States or Australia in two, three weeks time. And I usually try to prepare my orders uh, one, two, uh, the latest three days after the order has been uh, placed in my shop because I do not want the customers to wait. I always have this thing in me that if I order something, I cannot wait until it arrives to my doorstep. So I try to do the same with your orders. Sometimes I just simply cannot manage because you know, the family life, the other things, the prior engagements I have, and I am not managing, but there are quite often orders which are placed and uh, which are actually posted uh, the day uh, after. So. Uh, I'm really trying and if I have any type of delays with the orders, you will know about it in the small bar on the top of the screen in my shop. So if I am on holidays, for example, if I go to my uh, parents-in-law or my mom, uh, I will let you know uh, on the top that the orders will be uh, posted on this uh, date. And usually it's uh, like 10 days time. I don't have bigger delays than that. But that's only during the holidays. Otherwise, I try to do them as uh, quickly as possible. And now you can see a little bit the interface of the post. I am doing um, everything on my computer because it's much simpler that way. I don't have to go to uh, actual post. And I have the options here of uh, choosing the type of the parcel or choosing the um, uh, 3D option. In the case of this order from Philippines, the customer pay for the normal uh, stamp without the Swede. But uh, I decided to cover the cost of the uh, of the tracking number. Swede, I'm sorry, is a tracking number. Uh, and as you can see, the cost of the tracking number is 275 uh, euro because I've never sent anything to Philippines and I just wanted the parcel to arrive there without any problems. So I. Uh, but I kind of took the money out of my own pocket and uh, I decided to cover the, um, this, the uh, tracking option, uh, which happens sometimes. Um, and um, some uh, friends of mine are saying, why do, don't you put the prices of the stamp a little bit higher to cover, you know, the uh, uh, transfer of the, you know, the fact that I have to get inside the car and go to the post office and send it and so the um, all these additional costs I don't want because uh, as I said I know that I'm losing a lot of customers just because of the uh, high cost of stamps for now I'm trying my best uh, as I said if it doesn't work I'm gonna stop probably in the month of June at the end of the month of June we'll see uh, yes yeah, it's, it's true also in May I didn't have that many others so um, it doesn't look great <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm fighting. I am really like, uh, you know, <laughs> trying to do my best to keep the shop afloat. And uh, that's why also I wanted to show you a little bit um, behind the scenes. So, and so you can see how everything works and um, how much work you have to put to have your own business. And once again, I'm not complaining. I was maybe not aware that there is going to be so much work, but uh, I knew there is going to be work. And I am really uh, appreciative of the thing that you are coming to my shop and regularly and uh, placing the orders. And this is so important to me. And that I think it's a good toast to finish this movie on. Uh, thank you once again. And I hope you still enjoy this little, uh, you know, behind the scenes. <laughs> my uh you know business life <laughs> and i really hope i'm gonna see you in the next video and the next one is gonna be all about a project i'm sending you big hugs thank you so much bye bye